Beef TV. Well, live in the studio, we have Queensland's Water and Regional Development Minister, Glenn Butcher. I would have made a meat joke, but I would have butchered it. <laughs> well, you can't have Beef Week without a butcher, can you? Exactly right. How has your Beef Week been so far? It's been fantastic. Yesterday was really, really good. Uh, you know, and on the first day on Monday, 35,000 people through the gate. Just goes to show uh, that not only are producers here, but there's also community and different towns around the region as well. So it's great. You've been yeah. sinking, sinking your teeth into some good food I, too. I had a fantastic steak for lunch yesterday. Yesterday and I went to a function last night and had more more beef, so it's been good. And as a central Queenslander, you know, I love a good steak, uh, so it's been really, really good. That's what I like mm. to hear. Now, the issue of the day, of course, is all about uh, Great Artesian Basin, mm. Glencore's uh, yep. push to uh, use carbon capture and storage mm. uh, project there. You've said it doesn't pass the pub test. Why? Yep. Oh, it's just one of these things. Uh, there's never been anything like this done into a water aquifer anywhere in the world when it comes to carbon capture. Uh, I just think as the water minister in Queensland, it's a massive risk uh, for the longevity and, and security of water in particularly those remote western parts of Queensland. Uh, it does fit over more than just Queensland, the Great Artesian Basin, obviously. Uh, so I think there needs to be an overall approach to it. We're currently going through the EIS uh, on the proposal that has been put forward and supported and funded by the LNP uh, federal government a couple of years ago um, to get an understanding of what it is. Uh, and we'll make a decision on that EIS at that point in time. Uh, but I think that'll set the platform to say, you know, this is something that we need to take seriously. It's something that we shouldn't be mucking around with um, because the water resource is just so valuable to a lot of people. Should that environmental impact statement come back and say it's good to go, how will you respond? Well, with, you know, the Premier of Queensland has also said that he's not, not, a real, not real keen on, on the science that's been put forward at the moment. Uh, I've been, made it quite clear. I know the Environment Minister has also said she has concerns around it. Uh, my, my thoughts on it is, you know, surely there's other places in Australia uh, where you can, you know, go down into, a, a, not into an aquifer, but into a, a space where you can put the carbon in it there. Uh, we've so seen you can intervene then? Oh, absolutely. We can as a government. But at this point in time, we've made a decision. We've got some of the toughest environmental laws in, in Australia here in Queensland. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty confident that, you know, from what I've seen, uh, you know, this thing doesn't stack up. And so if it doesn't stack up scientifically, uh, if it doesn't stack up environmentally, then in Queensland we, we won't let it happen. So how come then when the Queensland Government set up the carbon capture storage framework, you didn't put in a mechanism for the GAB given how important it is? Yeah, it was just one of those things at the time. Uh, these proponents were coming forward to have a look at where they could start to put carbon. Uh, I think the initial uh, thoughts on what the Queensland Government were doing was we need to support this. Um, but when they started looking at a, you know, an operation in the Great Artesian Basin, which as I said was given approval by the federal LNP government at the time and funded $5 million for them to do this project, uh, then we, by that point in time, it was, right, this is a project that's moving forward. Uh, let's see what it's doing and then make an assessment on it later on. Yep. Minister, it's time for playing for cattle oh. stations. <laughs> this is the scoreboard. It is a pop oh quiz. God, you have Mark five up, questions up to get. Well done as if you get there. Ferner is on top because right. he's sung live on air. That is your okay. backup plan should okay. you do badly. Little Proud is down at the bottom. Ready for your questions. Lindsay will ring the bell when you're correct. Minister Butcher, question one. When did Beef Week begin? Uh, this is its oh, good question. Not 2002. Give him some options, AD. Come <laughs> oh, on. Is there a... Well, I was seeing oh, how ABC. good your memory was as a CQ. Okay, 1962, 99, or 88? I'll go 99. Bum, bum, oh, bum, 88. Oh. Iceberg the Ox was Australia's largest carcass, weighing, dressed carcass, weighing in at what? 580 kilos? Two ton or 854 kilos? Oh, if it's the biggest, you'd have to go 2,000 kilos, wouldn't you? Two ton? 854 <sighs> kilos. Oh, God, I'm terrible. <laughs> According to MLA, how much beef does the average Australian consume annually? Clue, the international average is 6.4. So these are your options, 48, 24 or 10 kilos? Oh, uh, sorry, can you repeat? With a week or year or month? Did you annually. Say? Annually. Well, maybe a week this week. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I ate most of it yesterday. Yeah. Um, Single-handedly. Let's, let's go option C. 10 kilos. It's actually 24 kilos, oh so God. four times I'm the zero. international <laughs> average. Kim, now, I need your help. You have to me... sing afterwards if you want to get some points up on that board or else Little Proud will beat you. Maybe, yeah. Which artist has a famous depiction of a pink cow on a yellow background? Warhol, Dali or Picasso? Oh, Warhol. I don't have the answer here. <laughs>
<laughs> correct. Yes, correct. Yes, ring the ring bell. The bell. <laughs> and how many times can you say, how now, brown cow, in 10 seconds, go for it? How now, brown cow, 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 how now, brown cow. He's done pretty well. He's done pretty well. <laughs> Thing. And what about sing? Can I get an extra point? You get points for trying there, or you can sing well, as your other option. Cal, Cal, well, he's Kelsey. This ain't Texas. Woo! This ain't... Oh, Ever dance? Woo! <laughs> down, 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 down. Oh, Beyonce, there watch out. Put Charis in the house. <laughs> Good on you. Thank you so much, Thank Minister, for coming on Beef TV. No worries at all. Well, speaking of LA, just an hour away from the mega city is a ranch so big that the city could fit within its fence line. Uh, the ranch is the largest expanse of private land in California. It's both an agribusiness and a major real estate company. And we're joined by the manager of the livestock there, Seth Scribner, and ranch bots, Andrew Kopp. And Seth, great to have you in Australia for your first time. Yes, we're happy to be down here. We've been in the country about three days so far already.